Welcome back everyone to Tarantula Exotics and today we are doing a rehousing video. Today we are going to be rehousing the Therafosa Sturmy into a larger enclosure. This is going to last him probably about six months to a year. I know they do grow pretty quickly so the enclosure I had him in before he was fine in but I just figured I have the empty enclosure. He's getting bigger. He's growing pretty quick. I may as well upgrade him. So without further ado let's rehouse him. All right so we're going to start with the Therafosa Sturmy as our first tarantula we're moving out. Uh, we're actually going to be changing him from this little guy to a much bigger one. I'm going to sit down here to make sure I got this all set. I have everything ready here. Uh, all the cameras are recording, so we're good. Got my paintbrush just off to the side to course them into this bottle here. Uh, let me see, hopefully you guys can see that. And so let's see if we can do this. I also have a larger container here to act as a secondary catch cup in case he decides to run. Let's open up the top here. All right, let's get him out of here. He is underneath this leaf right over here. You guys can see him, but uh, let me see if I can get him out. I'm going to attempt. Smudge him gently. I would say he probably could have been in here for a little longer, but I think I'm happy with the decision to take him out right now. Uh, give him something much bigger compared to what he has. He's already trying to make a run for it. There it goes. Okay. Kind of knew that was coming. Not going to be able to quite get him in here. Come on there, buddy. His leg there. Yeah, just in there. Just there you go. That's it. That's it. All right, so he is right in there. You guys should get a good look there. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus on him. So hopefully that's focusing there. I'm going to cover him up. Okay, and let's grab the new enclosure. We'll keep this one for some new teas we're getting in another video I just posted for the random number generator uh, mystery box. I know I have a couple of them coming, so that will work perfectly for one of those guys. And now let's switch out to this guy. Much better. Center it a little bit. All right, let's get them into here. Shouldn't be too difficult. That was actually easier than I expected it to be. So, I'm going to, actually I should probably grab the lid for this. Just have it handy. There we go. All right, now let's get him inside here. Okay. Let's see if we can't get him right into that furrow. Easy guy. Or be super quick. All right, he went right into the burrow. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. So he's right in there. We're gonna fill up that water dish for him too. And let's do that next, actually. Alright, so now that that's done, let's put the lid back on here. And he is all set in his new home. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a comment down below what you think as far as the conversion. I really like the new enclosure. Hopefully you guys do as well. I think it's a much better improvement and it'll grow, it's something he can grow into without having to worry about him kind of being able to escape or anything. Uh, make sure he has plenty of hiding spots. Make sure he has fresh water. Much bigger waters, of course, some sphagnum moss to keep humidity up a little bit. And yeah, I really enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys did as well. And if you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you didn't, make sure to leave a dislike and make sure to let me know in the comments down below what you didn't like about it, or if you liked it, what you did like about it. But that's gonna do it for today. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.